Now, Peter Sands saying he comes straight back in. Is it David plays? Well, right now, David's doing everything right to keep the jersey. And it's that type of competition we need to have, 1-11. to 11. We look forward to the game. You know, one or two new faces, Ilias coming back and Jeff on board. So we look at the squad, what's available to us. But certainly it's a game that we know Peterborough A uh, will see this as an uh, opportunity to progress. Um, financial incentive for both teams. And of course, Darren will want confidence going into their big game against Cardiff on Wednesday night. We have a big game against Middlesbrough. They have a big game against Cardiff. So both teams will want to maintain momentum, get some confidence out of the game. And of course, you've got the rewards of a fifth round draw in the FA Cup and, and who you can pull out the cup, out the hat rather. Um, just uh, Dion Sanderson, is, is he available tomorrow? Is he cup tied? No, he's available. He is available. Um, I mean, he's obviously tempting to, to, to use him and obviously you're not going to give away the team, but the, the back three you've mentioned already, I mean, how important is that kind of continuity of having the three of them playing together? Is it, is it a kind of tempting to kind of keep them where they are just to preserve that continuity? I mean, especially, I guess, Rob and... Yoan with the consecutive run of games, they, they, they're probably reluctant not to, to come out the side. No, they've done well. They've done really well. In there's no doubt about the quality they've displayed. You know, the, the they've looked they've looked really compact as a unit. They've got first contacts. They've won headers. So I've been delighted with them. You know, one game, one goal in four games, which was that screamer at Coventry, which I can't see many people saving that one. Um, so I, th I think in general they've done they've done exceptionally well. But Dion's available. We have got to look at we always, you're always wary of injury suspension. This type of situation. So now we'll, we'll have a look at the team tomorrow. We've got a big, you know, a good squad now. Ilias is back, etc. So we look at how boys show in training, and we'll make our choice from there. Okay. How's um? How does Ilias reported? Is he all okay? Yeah, he's he's, now he's fit and well. Got to watch him. He only played thirty minutes whilst he was away. You know, extreme temperatures, a lot of travelling. Just got to see how he is and and uh, ease him back in. So it might be a cameo role tomorrow. We'll see. But it's um, now he's back and he's fit. He's um he's very very keen to go. And the same with Jeff as well. I know he's not cup tied, but is he? Is he? How's he? Yeah, he came in and trained yesterday. In he looked, you know, he's a Premier League player. He, you know, seventy caps for the public. Um, very experienced. You know, looks very fit, very lean, and um, he looks in good shape. And, and of course, he, him and Jimmy Dunn got together straight away. You know, and having a chat as, as you can imagine. But um, no, he looked he looked very good yesterday in training. So we'll see how he is today. And obviously, and, and Sam McCullum's back in training as well. Yeah, he's to get some. B team or 23s minutes next week, I hope. Um, get some that would be vital for him. He's been out for a long time. He had the surgery, training well with us, looks lively, but he needs to have, you know, 45, 60, 75, etc., to get his match legs back. So that Barnsley game next week, perhaps too soon? Yeah, I'd imagine that's too soon, yeah.